I think the 30-06 is one of the most incredible and versatile cartridges ever created. And even today, 117 years after it was adopted, it's still a very impressive cartridge that people choose all the time in their hunting rifles. But it's a fair question, 117-year-old cartridge, have we created something that's just better by today's standard if we remove all nostalgia? So I asked you guys that question, what cartridges are better? And you sent me hundreds of responses. The one that I saw more than any other was this top guy, the 300 Win Mag. The 300 Win Mag is essentially the same caliber, but it's shooting about you know, 200, 300 feet per second faster. And because of that, it dominates ballistically. I created kind of a cool little score sheet for this, looking at 12 different categories for each one. And you can see a lot of green on there, areas where it's just improved by having that extra velocity. If I were to create a, an advertisement for the 300 Win Mag, if I had to argue it being better than the 30-06, I would say that it's just about the insurance when you're hunting that you're gonna hit with absolute force. Generally, it doesn't make a big deal. You shoot a whitetail with a 30-06 or 300 Win Mag, it's gonna die either way. But there are times that it could matter. Like a couple weeks ago, I was hunting in Mexico with a friend of mine, and the animals were feeding over a hill. He had to kind of make something happen. And unfortunately, he did press it a little bit where he shouldn't have. It was a steeply quartered away shot, and he was trying to slip in a bullet behind the ribs there. But just as he was shooting, the animal took a step, and it meant he shot right in the butt, a Texas heart shot. That could end up horribly, and a hunter really mad at themselves for taking that shot. Shooting 300 Win Mag, though, he actually took it out with that first shot pretty quickly. Would the same thing have happened with the 30-06? Maybe, maybe not. But you need everything you can get in some of those situations. So, is 300 Win Mag just better overall? No, absolutely not. It's better if you value the maximum power. But the 30-06 is really about the versatility and the balance that it has. The next contender is the twin sister of the 30-06 and could potentially bring it down. But first, I want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Manta Sleep. Manta Sleep makes really high quality sleep masks that can help improve your health, especially your mental health, by getting a good quality rest. Sometimes being able to take a nap during the day, on a flight, or even in your car so that you can drive on is very important. So this blocks out 100% of the light, but the cool thing is because it's well built, it's super soft. So even if you're laying on the side, it doesn't push against your head. They also have some clever different cups that you can put in there. This one you can heat in the microwave and it just has that nice warmth on there for about 35 minutes while you're falling asleep. Plus they have cooling vented, even one that has a sound maker built into it. So check out Manta Sleep by going to the link in the description and use code BACKFIRE for 10% off. That's Manta Sleep at the link in the description and use code BACKFIRE. Okay, so the twin sister to the 30-06. If you look at these, they look nearly identical, except the one with the blue tip there, that is the 270 Winchester. The parent case for the 270 is essentially the 30-06. It's basically the same case, but it's necked down to smaller caliber bullets. 308 caliber bullets for the 30-06 and 277 caliber bullets for the 270. So just by seeing that case, you probably already know how this thing performs. It's going to shoot really fast, but it's using lighter weight bullets to do it. And so what does that do to our numbers? Well, if we look at the scorecard, interestingly, the energy at 100 yards is very close. Only 150 feet per second difference. And you're going to get better ballistics, less drop, less, dri less drift, less recoil even. So you can see, I mean, some areas are green better, some are yellow about the same, and some are red. I would say that for somebody who really wants something flatter shooting, a little bit more forgiving of a little error of wind, things like that, man, 270 is awesome. The problem really with the 270 is bullet weights. Usually they're only in the 150 grain class. And the 30-06, you can step up quite a bit. I love the 270. I shoot a lot of 270 
Would I say in general it's more versatile than the 30-06 as a hunter though? Maybe not. If I were hunting a very large animal, I'd probably prefer the frontal diameter of the 30-06. The next one, I was really surprised to look at how well it compared as a generalist cartridge to the 30-06. And in fact, I might say if you're a hand loader, I might even argue that this one just beats the 30-06 in terms of just general versatility. But only if you're a hand loader. That cartridge is the 280 Ackley Improved. So the 280 Remington was a product of you know, late 1950s it was created. And then P.O. Ackley did what is now called Ackleyizing a cartridge, where you basically take a cartridge and you can see it has a very sharp shoulder. It's a 40 degree shoulder on, on there. Um, and by doing that, it gives you just a tiny bit more powder capacity. It also helps a reloader so that as you shoot and reform the brass multiple times, it doesn't stretch out quite as much. It kind of crimps that brass in there, which means you don't have to trim as much, and trimming is people's least favorite step in reloading. So the Ackley cartridges, there are many of them, have become really popular. And in fact, the 280 Ackley Improved has become more popular than just the 280 Remington by today's standards. Look how much yellow is on here for where being essentially identical to the 30-06. Energy numbers are about the same. Because it's a 7mm bullet, it's going to do, it has higher BCs in general, and so it's going to win a little bit of the drops and drifts and things like that. The recoil is nearly identical to the 30-06. Bullet weights are very close. There's not a lot of difference, except, 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 if you're shooting factory ammunition, it's going to cost a lot more, and the availability is not as good. In fact, it's not even close to as good as 30-06. So if you're a reloader and you can buy, you know, 400 pieces of brass, I mean, you could use that for many, many years. And so all of the disadvantages would pretty much be wiped away. And that's why I say if you're a hand loader, you could at least make the argument that the 280 Ackley Improved may be just a little bit more versatile as a generalist cartridge. One that was suggested a lot as a potential something that could beat the 30-06 is, of course, the 308 Winchester. Same caliber bullets. Whereas the 300 Win Mag is a little bit faster than a 30 6 the 308 is slower than the 30 6 But we look at the scorecard and you say, man, it just loses in everything ballistics because it's just slower, right? But has less recoil. And because it fits in the AR platform, I think is the real reason that it has become so ubiquitous, 308. And so while 30 6 is cheap and available, the 308, you just can't top it. It is by far the most popular centerfire cartridge out there for hunters. I think the 308 is kind of controversial. Some people view the 308 versus 30-06 as like, this is ridiculous. They can both kill the same game. It's a tiny bit less power, but you have less recoil and it's cheaper and more ubiquitous ammunition. And they just love the 308 and they think they think it beats the 30-06 handily. Others see it the other way, say 308 is a little anemic, especially for today's hunter that often wants the capability of shooting a little bit longer range. I think the 308 is an awesome cartridge, but I don't think any of us could could say fairly that it just beats the 30-06. They're just two different approaches to hunting. Hornady's trying to create trouble for the 30-06. Here you see the 7mm PRC on the bottom. That cartridge is very new, just came out this last fall, and here it is competing against something that's 117 years old. And so obviously in terms of availability and cost of ammunition, the 7PRC can't hold a candle to the 30-06. But I was curious to see what ballistically the numbers would look like, because today's shooter, in terms of looking for something versatile, definitely wants something that's capable of shooting long range. Yes, for hunting, maybe to extend your range a little bit, but also just so that you can have a hunting rifle that you also take to the range and just stretch it out to see what it can do. The 7 PRC comes off looking good. So energy, even at 100 yards, you know, from your tree stand, 400 foot per foot pounds more energy. At 400 yards, it's 500 more foot pounds of energy. That's actually 
a pretty measurable amount. And then you look at the drop at 400 yards, seven inches less drop. That's just going to make everybody look like a little bit better of a shooter. It's more forgiving if you're a little bit off on your range. And all of those ballistic advantages, usually I say, yeah, but the recoil. But honestly, the difference in recoil, the 7 PRC is only five foot pounds more recoil energy on your shoulder. That's just not too much of a trade-off, especially when today, just about everybody's shooting with either a suppressor or a muzzle brake. So does the 7 PRC beat the 30-06 right now? Well, definitely not. It's brand new and it's way more expensive. But if I had to put my money on a cartridge that over time could potentially be just more versatile and kind of take the place of that just standard cartridge, I could see it being the 7 PRC. Also, it has tighter chamber tolerances because today we can machine things to a lot tighter tolerances, which makes a lot of different loads work more reliably in that rifle without uh, having huge variances in which load is better for that particular gun. But if you hear me talking about 7 PRC, a lot of you are wondering, well, what about the 7 Mag? The 7 Mag is nearly identical to a 7 PRC. Same caliber, approximately the same amount of powder. 7 Mag actually has a little bit more than the 7 PRC. And they're not wrong. I love the 7 Mag. It's one of my very favorite all-time cartridges. It's not going to shoot the really heavy grain weights, those long bullets that are super high BC because of the twist rate. It's also using a little bit longer of a barrel. Last contender is also one of the very best. This is the 300 WSM, the Winchester Short Mag. This cartridge came out and it wasn't super popular. There were some lawsuits that uh, for basically a stubby, short, fat cartridge and uh, it caused issue with patents, but lately it started to pick up a little bit steam and has become more popular. It's essentially the 300 WSM is a short action version of a 300 Win Mag. So why, why would you do that? Ammo is a tiny bit more expensive and less available, but by being a short action, you get some advantages. Like, because it's a shorter column of powder, you can usually get away with a little bit shorter of a barrel length, a little bit lighter of a rifle. There are some cool advantages, plus it's just modernized. It doesn't have the belt that the 300 Win Mag does either. And you look at the numbers and it does add some pretty nice advantages. I think for somebody that just wants a little bit more power than the 30-06, man, I'd look at that 300 WSM. Is it more versatile? I don't know. I'll let you guys argue that in the comments. So if I were to wrap it all up, 30-06, have we created something better today? I would say for hand loaders, you could maybe argue the 280 Ackley improved. If you're not worried about availability and cost, I could argue maybe we have the 7 PRC coming up that could maybe fill that place. And if you want just more power, the 300 WSM would be high on my list for being a contender. But have any of them fought many world wars and brought American freedom? Have they, have they killed hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of deers and been reliable for generations? I don't think so. I love the 30-06, but it was really cool to look at some of the contenders to it.